What's your reaction to hearing him speak and, and say those things, knowing that he had you incapacitated, drugged, yeah, and, and had his hands on you? I was, um, I really suffered once I realized what happened to me, uh, survivor's guilt. Um, I basically suppressed my feelings with drugs and alcohol for a while. It's a, a miracle that I'm still married. But I blame myself for what happened to Billy because I didn't remember. And I remember when, when I met Billy and Billy had told my wife what happened and my wife asked Billy, how could he not remember? 30 years, Dr. Phil, I did not have any inkling what happened to me. When he got caught, I didn't realize what happened to me. I was actually watching a show on serial killers in 1992 in Virginia. And what cued me was they showed the patch. We had an eight on our uh, un uniform. And at that point, I still didn't realize I had been raped, but I realized that I had been stationed with him. And so it was years later that I realized what had happened to me. And it just, it just kind of blew me away, you know. Well, Preston, he says that he didn't commit any crimes out of hate, but you said you sensed racism and, and hate spewing out of him. Yes. Uh, I was not afraid of Jeff. I actually knocked Jeff out because he urinated in my boots, and they moved him out of my room. And that, that was early on when I met him in probably July or August of 79. Mm -hmm. So he was definitely a racist. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not for me to say, you know, I'm not going to play the race card and say he was, you know, it was white privilege. But that's something Billy... That is... It was white privilege. Yeah. I, I agree the, with that. The, well, the, but... the charisma, the the, the good-looking guy from Wisconsin. And he played all these people. And he's lying in that interview. He's lying. He was a practice liar, practice manipulator, practiced everything. How can you get like that that young? He would rape and beat you... Continuously, all the time. How many times a week? I, I wasn't counting, sir, but I will tell you it was more than five. It was more than... It depended on how much he drank. I actually stole his money out of his wall locker while I was doing that. I found ketamine bottles. I found... I was a medic as well at 17 years old. I found ketamine. I found lorazepam or Ativan. He kept you injured. He broke your hand. He broke, he broke my your hip. foot. Yes. Uh, he stabbed you. He stabbed me. I think we counted 30 times. And this actually is a fingerprint right here. Mm -hmm. I see that. And grab it here and choke. He stabbed you 30 times. He said that he was going to take my prostate out. I was tied up at the time. He had given me, given me something, IV, which as medics we had, uh, you know, access to all that stuff. You're in the military. In you the had military, a rape kit done. You would never think that this would happen. You told a nurse you had a rape kit done. Right. What happened? She threw it away. Why? And I communicate with this nurse all the time. She's in a VA health care. It's a senior or a uh, VA. Uh, she's been in there since 1984 or 5. Yeah. Institutionalized. Institutionalized. So somehow yeah, or another, she threw it away. These guys need to understand, Ryan Murphy and all these people who developed this stuff need to understand that's what happens. I'm lucky I didn't kill myself. I attempted suicide three times. I was going to kill him, okay? I wanted to kill him. Trust me, he almost died. But I had enough sense and a, a, a great enough family and a mother that would have not understood that. I wanted my mama. I wanted my brothers and my five sisters. I wanted them back. And I knew if I killed myself, I knew if I killed him, I'd never see him again. Does it help you to be able to tell your side of the story now here? Yes, it does. I'm happy to get to tell it. And I'm going to talk and talk and talk because you don't know what your freedom is until it's taken away. Yeah. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.